God bless you. Hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. And I pray that you're having a great day. I call this day a Genesis chapter 8 and verse 22 day. The Bible says this, while the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Well, we're having weather today, and, and people are already asking me, Bishop, what are we going to do tonight? And uh, I want you to know, saints, we have service scheduled tonight, and we're going to just wait and see what God does. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 3 and 4, it says, If the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And if the tree fall toward the south or toward the north, in the place where the tree falleth, there it shall be. Then it goes on to say, He that observeth the wind shall not sow, and he that regardeth the clouds shall not reap. That is, some things take care of themselves. And if you pay attention to every little thing, then you'll never get any sowing done. If you don't get any sowing done, you won't get any reaping done. Now, we're living in a day, my friends, the truth is the whole creation is mourning for the manifestation of the sons of God. Romans chapter 8, praise the Lord, and, and uh, verse uh, uh, 22 says, For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. That is the whole created universe is everything is out of whack. The Bible says in Romans 8 and 21, because the creature, that is the creation itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the son of the children of God. There will come a day when God's going to deliver even the created universe. As a matter of fact, there's a new heaven and a new earth that's going to come down from the throne of God. And the Bible says this in Romans chapter 8 and verse, uh, even to verse 23 says, And not only they, but ourselves also, which are the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption, to wit, the redemption of our bodies. We're waiting for Jesus to come to come and to uh, uh, redeem us and to give us a new body and, uh, and a glorified body. And so the whole created universe is groaning. The weather is a factor. And I say to you, if you're any place where the weather is not safe and you don't feel comfortable, praise the Lord, we certainly do understand that you, you stay home. And it may be a situation uh, by church time tonight that everything is clear up and all we have to contend with is rain if that then if so we will be at at church uh, here at the upper room and guess what we're we're, we're turning out for Bible study well what's so all important uh, uh, Bishop wouldn't that you're having tonight that you don't cancel service uh, uh, based on the forecast of possible possible inclement weather well I'll tell you what so I'll tell you what we're having having Bible study. We're going to walk in the scriptures. God's going to speak to us real good. And I'm glad for the privilege and opportunity of sharing God's word with you. And if the Lord in his infinite wisdom doesn't allow us to have service due to weather, things that we can't control. Remember, if the tree falls to the north or to the south, where it falls, there it will lay. Remember, when the clouds are full of rain, they will empty themselves. They don't, they don't need my permission, and I found out they don't even ask my permission because if they ask me, I would say, don't rain today. Give us a break. But uh, God knows, and the Lord is good and the Lord is right, and the Lord is holy. He's God when the sun is shining, and he's God when it is not. The song says he's God on the mountaintop, and God uh, in the sea, God in California, and he's God in you and me. He's God, he's God, and he always will be God. So whatever he allows, 
he's God and he knows what's best. So what we're going to do here tonight, Bible study is scheduled, yours truly is scheduled to be here tonight to teach from the scriptures. And if the Lord allows me, I'm going to teach God's word with power and authority. And if it's not safe, I and you will stay home and pray that God keep us also uh, in our homes. You know, um, uh, depending upon what the weather event is, uh, home may not even be safe. So we trust the Lord to watch over us and to keep us. All right, we'll see you tonight. If it's the Lord's will, we'll be here studying the word of God together. Uh, if you can, and if, it, and, if, and if the weather allows, Press your way, don't endanger your life, but press your way and meet me here, if it's the Lord's will, for, get this, get this, are you ready? Bible study. We're going to study the word of the Lord together. God bless. <laughs>